If you wanna grow the biggest, healthiest tomatoes possible, here are some tips. When you plant your tomatoes, clip off all of the leaves at the bottom of the plant and plant it that much deeper. Roots will come out from where you took off the leaves and you will have a plant that is better off right away. As your plant starts to grow, there are these little things that come out of the elbows of your plant. You wanna pull those off, those are called suckers. More plant growth will come out of those that doesn't produce tomatoes and that will take energy away from the regular plant stem. If your plant does get a little wild and starts putting off tons of flowers, clip some of the extra flowers off so that the plant can focus more energy on making the tomatoes that it's already set. That will result in you getting more tomatoes even though it's a little counterintuitive. Finally, stop watering your tomatoes so much. Wait till their leaves start to curl before you water them. Watering them less simulates the end of summer when they need to put on fruit to produce more. This is how we grow our mango trees. Cut open your mango to reveal the seed. Remove any of the remainder fruit off of the seed, give it a good wash, dry it off, gently insert a knife so you can remove the actual seed. You can use a damp paper towel or a cloth, wrap up your seed, and place in a Ziploc bag or a container and place in a bright sunny spot. Did you know if you leave your broccoli on the plant for too long, something pretty cool happens. Each of the individual buds start to open up and turn into flowers and the bees go crazy for them. Your loofah is ready to harvest. You can tell it's ready because it's a little bit squishy, a little bit airy, and it kind of looks like a moldy banana. Ha! The top already came off, so take a look. Okay, here we go with the perfect peel. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yeah. Every time. Look at this. Slides right out. I can let this dry a little bit. There's some seeds in there that I want to take out, but I just grew myself another bath sponge. in there oh my god all right let's see this is how you grow a ton of plants in not a lot of space it's a vertical stackable garden that I've planted a bunch of beans in I have some strawberries in here too you dump water in the top and it runs all the way down pretty soon we're about to have tons of beans coming out I saw a girl on TikTok say that if you grow strawberries, you should paint some rocks to look like strawberries. So I did that and it's so the birds will peck at the rocks thinking they're strawberries and when they're too hard they won't come back for when my real strawberries are ripe and ready for me to eat. Waiting on these guys to dry then I can stick them out by my plants. Here's what it looks like. Hopefully it tricks the birds from afar and as you can see I'm already starting a little late because I've got a little bloomer.